Mark Matthews, 32 years old. I'm from Maroubra Beach in Sydney, Australia. Been a professional surfer for the last 15 years. Whenever people see footage and photos of what I do for a living, they think I must have been born fearless. But in all reality, when I was young, I was terrified of the ocean. I'd sit out the back till dark and I'd think I was going to get stuck out there. And then I'd see my mum coming to rescue me. And I just wanted to be a professional surfer so badly that it didn't matter how terrified I was, I was always going to find a way to get through it. I think I just fell in love with that feeling you get from being terrified but still doing it. I actually can't remember much of surfing that day that I got injured. first memory I have was waking up, like regaining consciousness underwater and not knowing at all where I was. Just completely terrified. Like I was so scared at that point that I'd done something that ruined my career and never be able to surf again. While I was coming back from that injury, it felt like I'd gone back to being a kid again. No part of me wanted to surf big waves. I have to remind myself before I do it why I'm doing it. I've got one goal that pushes me harder than everything. I wanted to buy my mum a house and set her up for when she retires, and it just makes you push through that fear. The comeback was surfing that swirl back down at Shipstones where the accident happened just surrounded by the whole ocean, all its power. It's the best four or five seconds in your life. And I ended up getting absolutely smashed. But I didn't hit the bottom. From that point on, my confidence was back to where it was before the injury. Life's so short, you may as well make the most of it now. For me, that's living as an exciting life as possible.